Can PP405 really regrow your hair? I've read this research. This is what you need to know. Now, people are getting excited about PP405 because in early clinical research, it was shown to reactivate, we waken up, dormant follicle stem cells in as little as one week. So it all began with this paper published a few years ago where the researchers found that by blocking pyruvate oxidation that they were able to wake up dormant stem cells on the skin. In that study, they reported that PP405 was able to regrow hair in older mice, mice that were stressed, and even mice that were doused with chemotherapy meds. Basically, what this study revealed is that hair growth stem cells were apparently asleep and you were able to wake them up so they could start regrowing hair again. These results prompted the researchers to start a company called Pelage Pharmaceuticals to actively investigate PP405. A phase one clinical trial involving 20 men with androgenic alopecia, which again appeared to show that PP405 could reactivate dormant stem cells in the scalp in as little as one week. There's also this phase two clinical trial of PP405 involving 60 men and women with hair loss. However, the results of that phase two clinical trial have not yet been published. In fact, the results of that phase one clinical trial have also not yet been published, rather only talked about at medical conventions. And here's what nobody's going to tell you. To date, there are no human clinical trials of PP405. I know this is true because when I go on pubmed.gov, and you can do this too, and go to that website and just type in PP405, nothing shows up. No clinical trials. I'm looking at it right now. Nothing shows up for PP405. Bottom line, if you're going to try a PP405 product, just go into it eyes wide open and realize that there right now is no human proof that it actually works.